Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Professional Weapons in Advanced Warfare. This is the last one that I'm able to do as of now. I still have an HBR Cowboy IMR Pillager and Lynx Variable to get which will which I'll allow me to do those episodes. But now we are going to review the XMG Professional Variants and the Marksman Variant being the Chicken Waffles and the three Professional Variants are the Beer and Pretzels which looks like this one, the Death and Taxes and the Smoke and Mirrors. Starting, of course, with the chicken waffles today. Alright, so first things first, the chicken waffles is all a rate of fire variant. The standard rate of fire for a base XMG for a, si a single anyway, the combined really doesn't count because it's not like a single gun shoot shooting that fast, it's only the total combined. But a single XMG will shoot at uh, 600 RPM, and this is the standard 600. And here is the, my best estimate is 750 for the chicken and waffles, so here's those. And basically a lot of the XMG variants have a rate of fire increases, and that's a good thing in my opinion, because like, I feel like the base XMGs fire a little slow in my opinion, which means that increasing the rate of fire by any variant is, only, is a good thing. And one of the few attachments you can put on it is rapid fire, which, uh, which you can't really put on which uh, there you can't really put on much attachments and rapid fire is one of the only few that you actually can put on so that's a good thing and the overall and overall because of the plus two rate of fire it's like having a free rapid fire attachment on the chicken waffles except the negative effects of an actual rapid fire attachment is a decreased close range 20% uh, wider hip fire spread and 20% increased view kick that this is actually existent for the chicken and waffles variant, but it's not that bad. It's only half as bad as getting a free rapid fire attachment, and and no other penalties, and no range penalties anyway. So first things first, the hip fire is actually widened by 10%. It's not that bad if you look at it. You yeah, you might notice that the hip fire for the um, chicken and waffles is only a teeny bit wider, but it's not that big of a deal because after the buff. Like before the buff, this hip fire spread would be miserable, but after the buff, this the hip fire is still super, super tight. So even with this wider hip fire spread, you'll still be able to do good work with these XMGs because of how fast they fire. And overall, I think that's a good thing. But the high rate of fire does mean that that the that the hip fire does spread out more. So I guess I don't know, but that's that's something good to consider. And it does have 10% uh, more view kick, uh, so this is the standard view kick for the for a base XMG. And it's not that bad, but you see that you're, it's able to be it's a, you're able to control it. And this is the view kick for the chicken and waffles. And you see that it kicks around more, and you see the center speed more you more for the chicken and waffles than you do for the base XMG and I decided to go ahead and compare it to a, a rate a higher rate of fire variant that that's not actually that doesn't actually have a, a, a rate like a accuracy penalty I know the smoke and mirrors and death and taxes have those but I decided to com to compare it to the yin and yang anyway it's an enlisted variant we're not actually comparing it but it does have the wider hip fire spread anyway but You'll see that with a high rate of fire, but not, not no accuracy penalty. It still it still stays in position as good as the base XMG. It does fire faster, so it does move around faster. But overall, it's, it holds its position very well, which I think is a good thing. So that's the chicken and waffles variant, and it's a pretty good variant actually. It's definitely one you want to consider. And the next variant is the XMG beer and pretzels, and the beer and pretzels is also pretty good. And the, there is one, there is a first good thing that I have to talk about, which is, of course, the range. Now, funny enough, odd, or oddly enough, you can't, you cannot put, uh, you cannot put advanced rifling on the XMGs for some reason. I don't know why, because they're able to put them on the sac threes. So I have no idea why you can't put them on the on the XMGs, especially since the Pytech and. Uh, MLE adva allow advanced rifling, but not the XMGs for some reason. I really don't know why. It's probably because it's da it's probably because its damage is so consistent. The damage numbers being uh, uh, 20, 25, 20, 20. But that's the same deal for the MLE. 
because the because you can't increase the close range with the melee. Neither can you for the pie tech because they they have consistent damage too, which 35, uh, 35, 33. But whatever. But the reason why I'm talking about this advanced rifling thing is because the beer and pretzels actually does kind of have a free advanced rifling because it has plus two range, and it's not going to increase your uh, five shot kill range hardly any because uh, the five shot kill the medium damage is extended, but it makes no difference at all because the damage is the same but what this really means is more four shot kills so your standard uh, four shot kill range is 13 meters and this one bumps it out e even higher than that like 17 meters or something and that's really good considering that the hip fire is tight you can go for more long range shots getting more four shot kills with these things is uh is good and four shot kills equals two cycles of the gun so that's a that's obviously a good thing. Four shot kill range is increased by 15% more four shot kills. So hooray for that. So yeah. And yeah. So uh, it, and it does have two major downsides. One of them is the magazine count because the magazine for the uh, beer and pretzels is shortened so the standard xmg is going to have 150 rounds in both the uh, mat in both guns while the beer and pretzels in 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 both beer and pretzels they they'll have 132 rounds in the ammo so that's a kind of a harsh penalty it's not that bad because if you think about it you probably will never live long enough to reload and by the time you kill a lot of people you're probably gonna die and run out of ammo run you first you run out of ammo and then you die so it's not that big of a penalty if you watch drifters bread and butter x uh, video well actually no i'll get that at next not only does it have a ut does it take away 32 you know yeah, fuck not only does it take away ammo in each gun, it also takes away reserve ammo. It only takes away one reserve ammo. It's not as bad as the bread and butter where it takes away all your reserve ammo, that it takes away 20 rounds in the bread gun. The, you know, the left gun, which is bread in the, the elite, on the elite variant. But, uh, but it's still a kind of a harsh penalty. It takes away... Alright, annoying phone, but anyways, not only does it take away, you know, it takes away a whole a whole entire magazine for your reserve ammo, and that's kind of bad. I'll let, like, let's be honest, it's kind of bad to take away reserve ammo along with a magazine count, because with this, you only have 36 bullets in reserve, so you're definitely going to need to run either scavenger or extended mags to make up for because extended mags will increase your overall reserve ammo by a little bit, but it's not that, um noticeable but it is something to keep a note and that the ammo can be frustrating and that there is you will have to adapt to it and if it's frustrating you can just put some stuff on it to counteract it so yeah the, like i said the base xmg has a hundred rounds and that hundred rounds goes for both of your guns like if you like if you shoot both guns and you reload you like if you need 50 bullets in each gun like it'll it'll like split that basically it's not for like one gun now next variant, which is uh, probably the worst variant of all of these, is the smoke and mirrors. And uh, the first thing you need to know about the smoke and mirrors is that uh, is that it has a massive, and I do mean massive, damage decrease. So that's obvious that you already know we're going downhill here. But uh, the standard shots to kill at long range is five because its damage is so consistent. It has twenty. What the fuck? What happened? Alright, so let's try that again. That's a five shot kill because it's uh, damage is 20. So that's the damage at long range, but but the damage for the smoke and mirrors at long range is way different. You'll, you guys will see now that the damage is massively decreased at, at, at its longest range so at, at long range the XMG will not be five shots to kill instead it will be six shots to kill instead of instead of five it's a six shot kill so so it's a uh, damage is decreased at that range but that's not the only damage that is decreased um, 
its medium range is also affected so so at medium range you would normally need uh, you would normally need five shots to kill uh, but not with this variant not with the um, XMG not with this XMG variant and like normally here's the five shot kill range that's five shots to kill I mean but for the smoke and mirrors it's not five shots to kill and, and instead it is six shots to kill so so just just in case you guys missed stuff the damage is uh, decreased by 15 per uh, the damage is decreased from uh, 25 20 20 to 25 17 17 so that that's the, how you know it has a massive damage decrease and it has basically six shots to kills at all ranges and speaking of range the the the, the you do have a 15 percent range increase but this makes no but this is a non-existent because the medium and long range damages are the same so this range increase doesn't matter whatsoever and the only thing you're and the only else thing else you get is the rate of fire increase which hey that's nice but it doesn't make up for six shots to kill at medium and long range which is quite high for light machine gun and by the way the rate of fire is increased from uh, 600 rpm to 666 here's the standard 600 And here is the 666 RPM for the smoke and mirrors. So the rate of fire, okay, it may seem nice, but uh, but the damage decrease is huge, and I really don't, and I really wouldn't say that this is a good variant. I'd say this is a worse variant, especially since there are other variants that are bet that are so much, that are obviously so much better than this one. It's just don't use this variant; it's kind of bad. And the last variant we are looking at is the Death and Taxes. This is also a pretty bad variant. It's not that bad, but uh, it, it does have a few flaws. First of all, the uh, first of all, it does have a free laser sight, which will you'll be able to see tightens the hip fire spread up by like 15%. So like you obviously want more tighter hip fire spread, so you're able to go for even longer shots to kill. So that's obviously a good thing laser sight equals tighter hip fire spread although it does take up an attachment and you're not able to put on parabolic micro or anything like that but like the smoke and mirrors the rate of fire in is increased from 600 rpm to 666 this is the standard 600 and here's the 666 rpm It's coded to shoot something like, like on 700 but due to frame rounding it's, it's gonna round down to like 666 and uh, the major downside is minus two range. It's not as bad as minus two damage, but it has minus two range, and you don't have an advanced rifling attachment to counteract this, unfortunately. But this minus two range isn't going to affect your medium range at all, because your medium range is the same as long range. But it's really going to affect your 25 damage range. So your four shot kill range is really getting pushed back here a little bit. It's not the worst penalty in the world, but just keep in mind that you'll that you'll drop down to your five shot kill range faster and overall i think the ratings on these is, is going to be chicken and waffles definitely at number one uh beer and pretzels at number two death and taxes at number three and smoke and mirrors at number four because the range is not as existent and the fire rate doesn't really matter at least the death and taxes has a laser sight and rate of fire and just in case you guys missed it, so the chicken waffles is minus one accuracy, plus two fire rate, and minus one handling. The beer and pretzels is uh, plus two range, minus one magazine size, and minus one reserve ammo. Uh, death and tat, or no, smoke and mirrors is minus two damage, minus plus one fire rate, and plus one range. And the death and taxes is a free laser sight, um, plus one fire rate, and minus two range. And I do want to show you guys that the the, the laser sight attachment is. Uh, the laser sight attachment means that you can't put on tracker rounds or yeah you can't put on tracker rounds or you know the reserve thing what it was it tracker rounds and parabolic mic you can't put on those attachments which means you're only stuck with two attachments extended mags and rapid fire since this very shoots very fast it doesn't seem very useful but i run i'm running rapid fire because can't put any mini X and you can't put any mini attachments on it and extended mags just for more ammo. I personally do extended mags on the XMG, but 
there you guys have it. That's the that's all the videos I'm able to do for now until I get an HBR IMR links. Then I'll then I'll 